Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nkenna. I am responsible for everything that goes on here. As you guys can tell from the title of today's video, we are gonna be doing a, another swatch video, but I'm really excited about this one because it's kind of like a part two. This is for the LA Girl Pro Concealers. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't know why I took a deep breath. It's for the LA Girl Pro Concealer. So if you guys haven't already, then I already have a video on the LA Girl Pro Concealers. I will make sure that I link it on the card so you guys can go ahead and click and watch that first one. But I'm back today to do more of the shades. Last time I didn't really get to do the deeper shades. However, it's it's been quite some time. I think I did that video in 2015. So we are four years removed from that video. It's time for a new one. And this time I'm gonna be swatching a lot more deeper shades and then some of those in between shades. Total, I'm gonna be swatching nine shades. I did purchase eight shades. Total on their website for this line of pro concealers, they have 43 shades and that does include 11 correctors. This concealer is said to be creamy formula and it is supposed to be crease resistant. Just from research online, these can range anywhere from $2.99 to $5, $2.99 on Walmart and $5 um, on the actual LA Girl website and $4.99 on Ulta.com. So do your research, find the cheapest one, whatever works for you and buy. So I misspoke. I thought that I grabbed Fawn and I was going to actually swatch nine. However, I grabbed an extra warm honey so I'm only gonna be swatching eight today. So getting into the packaging, this is what it looks like. It comes in a plastic tube. At that $2.99 price point, you do get eight grams of products or 0.28 ounces. Once you take off the top, then this is what it looks like. This has never been used. That is the applicator. It just has little bristles and then you would squeeze the product up from the bottom until it comes out like so. And then you would go ahead and brush it in wherever you want. All right, so as you guys can see, these are all the shades. I kind of did them in a little bit of a reverse order because this darkest shade that you can see here um, it is the shade truffle and the way that they have them labeled they have them by a number so it says GC and then it has a number so truffle is shade GC 962 however the shade next to it mahogany the shade right next to it that is GC989. So I just did them in a reverse order but I will hold up the tube so that you guys can see what each shade is. So starting off this shade right here at the very end is Truffle, and that is the shade GC962. So this is what it looks like. It's a little bit darker once it's actually out of the tube. This next shade, this is a shade Mahogany, and this is GC989. So it looks a little bit gray in the tube, but this looks really nice. It's, I would say, one shade darker than my skin. So this would be the ideal, Truffle would be my ideal contouring shade, and then this would be one shade darker, so potentially even my summer shade. Next up, we have Hot Cocoa, and you almost can't even see this one. It blends pretty seamlessly into the skin. So I would say that Hot Cocoa, which is GC988, that would potentially work for being my foundation shade right now if I wanted to use this all over. Next up, we have Toffee, which is GC984. That's pretty orange. It's like a peachy orange color. So I don't think that would work for me in terms of highlighting or concealing, maybe potentially in the summer but it just looks really really orange to me. Next is Warm Honey. This is GC982. I have tried this on my skin before and it is just a little bit too light. Um, it's in I think 983 is Fawn. So Fawn works best for me but it is a close second. It just happens to be a little bit too bright especially in these winter months. So again that's Warm Honey. It's GC982 and that is right here. Next we have Toast. Toast is also in the competition to be a very close match to my actual skin tone. Second to last, we have Cool Tan, and this is in this shade GC980. So this and Fawn are pretty close in a similar fa family. I would probably ideally mix the two together, but Fawn works excellent alone for me. And then finally, we have the shade Almond, and this is in the shade GC979. Uh, I generally like to go for shades that are more yellow. Um, I think that they just work better for me. And this is just a little bit too peachy for me. Um, I feel like it might make me look a little bit ashy. So yeah, those are all the shades that I have for you guys. Again, I meant left out Fawn. I thought that I packed it, but Fawn is my ideal highlight color. And then I think just going off of these shades here, Truffle would be an ideal 
contour shade for me. All right, so I went ahead and applied Cool Tan, and then I also applied Truffle um, to contour and highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and then come to you guys at the very end with just my thoughts and opinions. All right, so this is the finished look. I really, really like Truffle for a contouring shade. I think that it looks really, really good. It is the perfect match for me. Um, cool Tan, it didn't do too bad either. Um, something that I do wanna note is that these dry pretty quickly, so I would suggest starting with a little bit, blend that out, and then and if you need more go back and build it up because these do dry relatively quickly and you don't want to be wiping it off in patches or blending it out in patches um blending it out and then taking it off in patches but overall i really really like it i like the way that it it's just it's very high end at a very budget friendly price point um, it gets you together you're very snatched very seamless just flawless no pores this is I would do this for special event makeup I would use this concealer for special event makeup just because it really gets everything together and brings it all together and I look really smooth you can't see any texture on my face I like it nothing but good good things to say about this all right so that is all that i have for you guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed these swatches for you this expanded version of swatches it definitely caters to a little bit of deeper skin tones but Overall, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys haven't already, check out the first swatching video that I did make. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, any video ideas, anything that you guys would like to see me swatch, have a first impression of, wear test, whatever it may be, definitely comment down below and I'll check it out for you. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, give it a thumbs up. That is the same thing. Bring a friend next time and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.